Hello, you made a great decision by choosing to watch this video. In this video, we're going to talk about things that are definitely going to change your life and change your mind. Because once you change your mind, you change your life. And what are we talking about in this video? We're talking about beating anxiety. It's all metaphysics. It's all metaphysics. Like I talk about in most of my videos, it's all about metaphysics. And what is metaphysics? Metaphysics is the study of the relation of thoughts and emotions to the material world. I like to explain it by explaining everything around you. Everything around you started in somebody's mind. This is a bottle of water. A company made this bottle of water. And it started with somebody's mind idea. Everything starts with somebody's mind. And anxiety resides in the mind. It resides in your body, on the internal. So everything is internal. The internal manifests in the physical. So that is what metaphysics is all about. So today we're going to be particularly talking about anxiety because anxiety is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't do a lot of things that will benefit them. People like you, I'm not judging, but I'm here to help. Okay, so anxiety feels like that butterfly feeling in your stomach when you're nervous, but it doesn't go away easily. Today we'll learn how to handle it, understanding anxiety is important because it helps us feel better and do our best right anxiety will stop you from reaching your potential i want you to understand this and like i said metaphysics is a study of thoughts and emotions and its relation to the material world and like i say all the time in most of my videos your thoughts and your feelings reflect in your actions because actions are the first step to manifestation you have to act on it even if it's talking to somebody even if it's doing something to get a girlfriend, you have to talk to somebody. Communication is one of the most powerful skills in the world. You have to communicate to do business. You have to communicate to get girls. You have to communicate to make money. You have to communicate to manifest. So your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, the things you think about, the things you feel are the things you're going to act on. Simple and put. So when anxiety comes into your feelings, you're going to think nonsense. You're going to think shitty thoughts. And you're going to do shitty things. <laughs> Let's move on. What is anxiety? Simple explanation. I don't like to keep things complex. Let's keep it very simple so you can understand and you can know more about yourself. Because this is not some, this is not some master's degree. This is life. Life is simple. They try to make it complex and they feed you all this information in university. Which I graduated from, by the way. But when after graduating, I realized... The best things in life is to keep it simple. The biggest businesses keep it simple. The richest people keep it simple. Complications make things more complex. Okay. Simple explanation. Anxiety is when you feel really worried or nervous about something and it's hard to stop thinking about it. I went to an all boys school from grade 10 all the way to grade is it grade 10 or no grade 7 all the way to grade 12 right or 6 to 12 which one? yeah 7 to 12 that's high school or secondary school as they call it in africa so i went to an all boys school catholic strict school in africa right and i was surrounded by boys most of for six years it was like a six-year prison sentence surrounded by boys Fortunately for me, there was a all-girls Catholic school across the street, which made it more possible to talk to girls. And I wasn't, uh, I wasn't in the boarding house. I was a day student, which means that I could leave the school whenever I wanted, right? So, but I didn't really have a lot of experience with women because I was in an all-boys school and I spent most of my time around boys. So after graduating secondary school, I had to relearn how to be able to communicate with women. So I had a lot of anxiety in this situation. Around this topic of women, I struggled at the age of 17, 16 to be able to get the girls I wanted, right? So I had to learn, I had to practice. And anxiety comes in a lot of ways, but this is one example I can use to show you how difficult it was because I, I was challenged by not even being around them for six years. Right. So after graduating, I had to learn how to be able to approach a woman and talk to her without being too much in my head. And anxiety is that feeling. You feel nervous. You feel like, 
you think all the impossible things. What if she thinks I'm ugly? What if she doesn't like me? You know? So that's a great example of times where I've been nervous and I've been filled with anxiety. But anxiety can really ruin your life, guys. I want you to understand this. Like being able to beat anxiety has helped me achieve so many things other than even get the girls I wanted. It's helped me start businesses. It's helped me make money. It's helped me make thousands of dollars in a month, over 10,000 in a month, because I both, I'm able to walk up to strangers and talk to them and sell them my services, things like that, right? Sales, making money, anxiety is going to come up, making YouTube videos, right? Even when I want to start my channel and I started going more consistent, all these thoughts come in my head. What if my friend sees it? What if the girl I like sees it? What if, you know, all these, all these bullshit thoughts that will try to stop you from reaching your potential in life and a lot of people like i'm talking billions of people i'm talking billions <laughs> i'm talking billions of people are hindering your own success because of anxiety anxiety is destroying a lot of lives because people think in their head that oh something bad is going to happen or people are not going to like me i want to put this out there no one is better than you no one is better than you. Not me, not your favorite celebrity, not your favorite actor, not your favorite musician. None of them are better than you. We are all human. We are all human. You can be great. You can do great things. You just need to get out of your own way. And you need to fight that voice that's in your head. And how do you fight that voice? This is how. This is how I was able to conquer anxiety. Three steps, three simple steps. My thoughts matter the most. I have to realize that my thoughts matter the most. My thoughts about me and my situation in my life. I learned that what I think about myself is more important than anyone, what anyone else thinks about me. Because truly, 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 when you're anxious about something, you start to think about the other person. For instance, when I'm trying to sell my digital marketing agency services, you can check out the link in my description. I own a digital marketing agency. It's called Bees Digital Marketing. We help entrepreneurs scale their businesses from zero or even six figures to seven figures, things like that. So check it out in the description. And even when I try to sell my services to people, I have this anxiety where I think, you know, anxiety comes up. It's natural. It comes to me even now. But I'm, I've, I've been able to practice it so properly that I don't let it defeat my purpose or come between me and my self-worth, you know? So... I learned that what I think about me is more important than what I think, think what I think people are thinking about me. And I want you to understand this life is a mirror. What you think about you is what you're going to so like I said metaphysics, right? What you think is what you're going to feel and it's going to be the way you act. So if you think you're not good enough in a sales meeting or a business meeting, then you feel you're not good enough and you, you have all these thoughts about you not being good enough and you're not going to be able to deliver what you're promising. You're going to reflect that in your tone of voice, the way you sit up, your body language, the, the things that you say. You're going to stammer. You're not going to look them in their eyes. You're not going to be confident about the things you're about to sell. And guess what? You're going to lose thousands of dollars, millions of dollars on the table. There's millions of dollars waiting for you to come collect it, but your anxiety is in the way. So you need to realize that it's all about what you think about yourself. All about what you think about yourself. So you need to understand that your thoughts matter most. Stop thinking about what other people are thinking about you because you're the one reflecting to them what to think. You're the one reflecting to them what to think. I want you to remember that. It's a tongue twister, but you're the one reflecting to other people what to think by how you think about yourself. Paradoxical, right? No one is always watching you. No one, like people are so busy with their own lives. So they're not always thinking about what you're doing. People have their own problems. The things that you're thinking, oh, my life is so distant. The other person is thinking about that. The other person has anxiety. The girl has anxiety. The girl that I'm trying to talk to, when I'm talking to her, she's thinking, wow, does he like me? Does he really like me? Does he think I'm cute? I hope my makeup is nice. She's thinking all these things in her head too because she's a human being just like me. So when you go up to a meeting, the other person, the business person is also patching your drift. If the person is more comfortable, they might have more grace with you and they might 
they might be masters at this because if they're if they're wealthy and they have a big company they're used to high pressure situations so they're not going to be they're not going to be as nervous as you so they're probably going to be looking at you to see whether you're brave enough whether you're confident whether you're able to fight your own anxiety but it doesn't mean that they don't even have anxiety about the situation right they might like what you're offering but they might just have anxiety no i don't feel right about this i i don't think i should do this i don't want to lose that money they have anxiety too right so but no one is watching you people are busy with their own lives doing their own thing focused on their own problems so when you go into the gym when you're walking up to that girl when you're um starting a business no one really cares like my youtube channel for instance like I remember years ago when I even first started my YouTube channel, it was like, um, I used to think, what if my friends see my videos? I've been posting for weeks now. I'm sure some of my friends have seen my videos or uh, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. Who do you call a friend? You know, that's another topic, but acquaintances or people that I've met on social media that have my social media. I'm sure they've seen my videos, but not even one of them have reached out to say, Oh, I saw your video or it's whack or, you know, I've, I've not really gotten anything from those people. So at the end of the day, I was in my own head about what was going to happen. I was creating the reality to stop myself because I watched a beautiful video today. And this lady on TikTok, she wears shades and she talks about spiritual stuff, right? But she's so, she's so intelligent and she covers her eyes all the time. I'm sure you guys might see her too, but she says something powerful about um, how we stop ourselves from receiving abundance or receiving blessings from the world and anxiety is kind of like that we stop ourselves by creating scenarios where everything goes wrong so we use that as an exact as an excuse so for instance i, I want to post a video and i'll be like oh this this topic is controversial what if my mom sees it and what if she doesn't like it even though i 100 percent believe in what i'm talking about i'm already projecting something in my own path to stop me from doing it so once i do that then i have a reason not to do it at all meanwhile i posted the video now and i got thousands of views and i got thousands of people saying thank you and appreciating me for my time and my effort and educating them about themselves right so if i never beat that anxiety or that thought that i placed ahead of myself to see the negative outcome then I wouldn't do anything at all. And a lot of people are doing that. I'm talking about billions of people. The, the moment when you get excited about something you're passionate about, you set a negative outcome ahead of yourself, which does not exist, by the way. You don't know how anything is going to turn out. Trust me, I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but I'm going to do it anyway. You understand? I'm, I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but I'm going to post it. I'm going to record it. I'm going to do it. And whatever happens, happens. But I'm not putting myself in front of myself to stop myself from actually doing that. I'm not stop putting myself, oh, the video is going to get zero views and nobody likes you and your voice is annoying. I'm not telling myself that because those are lies. When you tell yourself that, you need to realize that those are lies that you're, you're putting in front of yourself for you to... For you to remain comfortable in what you are right now. Because that's what you're used to. You're used to being this person right now. You're used to being this person right now who you are and who you've been for so long. Right? Well, you need to change that. You need to stop getting ahead of yourself and doing these negative outcomes. And placing these negative outcomes to hold control of your life and keep it the way it is. You need to stop that. Number three, they don't know your story. They don't know my story. You don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know the things that I've manifested. You don't know what I'm living right now. You only know the things that I'm telling you, that I'm teaching you. And you're able to decipher that it's true. You feel it in your heart that, oh, he's making sense. He's talking to me right now. So when you go out there and you, you have this anxiety like, or other people think they don't know you nobody knows you only you know your story and i'm sure your story is great you've been through so much shit that a lot of people have not even recognized like 
the, the things that I've been through in life, I will continue to share as I make all these videos, but I've been through so much, but I don't expect you to know that. And I'm not looking for your sympathy. I'm not looking for your applaud as well, right? So stop thinking that people know you. They know nothing about you. It's all about you. Like I said, it's a mirror. You're reflecting that to them. You're reflecting that to them. You're the one putting it out there that I'm a bum. I'm a sad guy. No girl likes me. You walk up to a girl and you're you're ready to give her. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I just saw a video of a girl with the patiash. Of a girl, a girl with the big butt, right? And in the comments, a guy says, "I'll give you my check right now." <laughs> you see, like that is so desperate. That is so needy. He's ready to give his check that he worked 80 hours for, for some yash. Because what? He doesn't think he's good enough to even have the yash in the first place. That is so unfortunate. So other people don't know everything about us or what we've gone through. So their opinions don't have the full story. The other day, somebody like not even the other day today. <laughs> today somebody commented on one of my shorts like my youtube shorts somebody commented on it and said oh you're preaching about something um you're talking about manifesting or wishy-washy like make a wish manifesting over a, over a 30 second clip of one of my videos where i was just talking about um things happen for a reason and basically i was explaining that things happen for a reason because at the end of the day, we label whether something is good or bad. So instance, for instance, I lose a client. You might lose a client and if you quit at that moment just because you lost one client, oh, I, I lost my, my biggest client, so my business is shit, I'm not good enough, then you quit. You're literally cutting it short. short. You're, caught, you're cutting yourself short from the opportunities that may be ahead of you, the opportunity to learn, the, the opportunity to improve your business, the opportunity to change your services. You're cutting yourself short. So you give yourself that definition that that was a bad situation. That could have been the best thing that would happen to you. But in 30 seconds, there's no way for me to say that, right? And that person took that information and left a comment and started educating me on manifesting, which is okay. I'm always open to learning, but 30 seconds is not a good, not a good amount of time for you to know my story and know what I've been through. I know what I've been able to manifest and know what I'm trying to do to help people. Just saying. So at the same time, for you, every time you want to do something and you have anxiety, just realize that people don't actually know who you are. People don't know your story. You're the one that is going to be able to tell your story. You're the one that's going to be able to show them. Pretty simple. Tips to beat, <laughs> tips to beat anxiety. This is how you beat anxiety for sure. Get rid of it and throw it in the trash. This is how you do it. Face your fears. Start small and take steps to face things that scare you, like speaking in front of others. It took years for me to be able to record videos and post it. I always thought I was ugly. I always thought I was ugly. I've been, I've been creating content for years. For years, like I'm talking like seven, eight years. And when I first started, I had so much anxiety just to post my face on a snapchat or post my face on instagram or post a picture i i thought i was fat i thought i wasn't good enough i thought people wouldn't like me i used to think about all these things that i talked about in the previous slides i used to think bad things about myself but then i started to face my fears because i know what i wanted i know like even right now right i know that i have to show my face to be able to pass along this message i know i have to show my face to be able to tell my story i don't have to show my face to do great things so it's it's an exchange i'm making that sacrifice for the things i want the things i desire you're gonna have to make a sacrifice like i want to make a video about this but let me just put it out there like a lot of people are sacrificing their dreams for petty things and i'm not i'm not i'm not disregarding your feelings or how you feel but are you going to throw, 
throw a life of possibility away over the thoughts of others. You could be a, you could be the next big producer. You could be the next biggest actress. You could be the next biggest actor. You could be the next biggest scriptwriter, author, rapper, musician, singer. You could be the next big thing in this life, but you throw away your whole destiny because of the thoughts of other people. I can't do that. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> I can't live a life where I'm, you know, I'm in. I'm in a job that I hate and I'm struggling because I wouldn't face my fears of doing this. I'd rather face my fears of doing this and fail completely, right? Than do that and just be anxious the whole time. So face your fears, walk up to that girl. And this is like a good practice, right? If you wanna, if you wanna let go of the anxiety of walking up to girls, for instance, I want you to walk up to 10 girls but instead of approaching them for their number go somewhere like a mall go to the mall and in the mall instead of approaching a girl and asking her for a number ask her even if you know where the store is ask her where nike store is just walk up to a girl that that you like a pretty girl look her in her eyes and say oh excuse me uh, do you know where the nike store is or the food court excuse me do you know where the food court is and she'll be like, oh yeah the food court so practice that without expecting anything because who's 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 gonna be a who's gonna be an asshole about directions? Nobody, unless you're crazy. So but you're gonna use that to break your anxiety. You're gonna use that to see that, oh, that wasn't a big deal, that was a breeze. At least I can I'm able to walk up to the girl and say, Hello, do you know where the food court is? And look her in her eyes. Then once you're comfortable with actually talking to people, approaching people, then you take it to the next step. Oh, hey, how are you? My name is Emmanuel. What's your name? Oh, then even if you don't want to collect the number, you just say, oh, I hope you have a good day. I just wanted to introduce myself. You take it to the next step. But the, the way you break anxiety is by facing your fears. Because once you face your fears, you realize like people are not sharks. People don't bite, bro. People don't bite. I'm telling you, people don't bite. Most of the girls that I thought were super hot, once I got to know them, they were just human beings. Goofy. They take poops too. <laughs> they shit and piss just like me. I need you to understand that. The, the things you're so scared of, once you once you face that fear, you just be like, is this what I was so scared of? But give yourself grace. Start with little steps, baby steps. Do the littlest thing first. Start the business. Post the website. Build the website. Do the little things first. Grow it. Train it. But you have to face your fears bit by bit. Start small and take steps to face the things that scare you. Like speaking in front of other people, for example. Right? Heal your insecurities. Identify things that make you feel unsure about yourself and work on them bit by bit like i said i used to be fat i used to think i was so fat and ugly so i hit the gym i hit the gym and even when i even when i used to think i was fat and i didn't want to post myself i had a girlfriend with a fat ass don't get me wrong don't get it twisted i had a girlfriend with a fat ass that loved me i want you to know that <laughs> I want you to know that for real, because I was able to talk to her and practice the things that I told you, like facing my fears. I, I walked up to a, a beautiful girl and I got her number and I started talking to her. Then I faced another anxiety, which was posting my music and posting it about myself and the things I wanted to do on social media. Then I got rid of that. So it's all about facing your fears and healing your insecurities. Then when I wanted to, when I wanted to reach a, a different tier of girls and or business i knew i had it i had to become a different person i knew i knew i had to heal my insecurities i knew, knew i had to be able to talk to people right so i had to heal my insecurities i had to i had to hit the gym i had to start exercising i had to quit those habits right like i was so insecure about smoking for instance right i used to smoke so even when i wanted to do business, I would think that people could tell that I was smoking. 
So that made me so anxious. I felt like I had a lot of knowledge. I had a lot of knowledge, but I couldn't present it because I would feel like, oh, I'm black and these people would be able to tell I smoke. So guess what? I had to stop smoking. Those are the sacrifices you have to make. Your insecurities, the things that you're insecure about, you're going to have to cut them off because they're stopping you and hindering you from your destiny. That's a fact. Like beating your meat. If you're beating your meat, you're not going to be confident to talk to you, to girls because you're going to be like, oh, she, I'm sure she can tell I beat my meat. Or you're going to be over-sexual. She's going to be able to tell you, this guy is just too sexual. He's too needy. He just wants, he's too horny. She can tell. They can. So you need to be able to get rid of those insecurities by working on them, by healing them, by letting them go. Because, because other people can't tell, but you can tell, and you and like it comes up in your thoughts when you try to approach those things. Like, like I said, if I want to approach a business owner that's a professional, and I know I can offer them good services. Back when I used to smoke, I used to think like, oh, if I pull up to a meeting, I feel like my lips are black, and I feel like my my eyes are are yellow, and they can just tell that I smoked. So I had to stop smoking so I get so I can get rid of that insecurity. You have to heal your insecurities. If something is not favoring you, it's time for you to let it go. Those are the sacrifices you need to make to reach the highest level. And finally, meditation. Meditation is simple. I like to think about meditation as being able to take no thought. Sitting down in one position <clears throat> and releasing all thoughts and going to silence. And it's so powerful because anxiety comes in the form of thoughts. Everything comes in the form of thoughts. Manifestation is thoughts converted into material world, right? So if I want to make money, I know I have to sell something. I have to do business. So I think about what kind of business I need to do. So I think about it, plan it, see it, visualize it, and I take action, right? So if I think positive, I feel positive, I'm going to take positive action. So if I feel anxious and I think anxious, I'm going to take anxious actions, right? So in order to kill anxiety, I need to meditate to be able to center myself and bring myself to the present moment where there is no thought at all. It's a quiet, quiet mind, empty mind. And I don't, I don't really want to go into meditation because that's not my expertise, but I'll just suggest this for you. What you can do is go on YouTube and search guided meditations, guided meditations, guided meditations for anxiety, guided meditations for love, but guided meditations for different things. And use those as tools and start it and practice it every day. Practice it every day. Practice it every day. And before you know it, your mind is just going to be quiet. Now and then I still catch myself drifting into anxious thought. But I have, I'm always, I'm powerful enough now to catch myself and stop myself. And bring myself back to the present moment with no thought at all. Even in basketball. Like I play basketball almost every day, right? As a workout. In basketball, when I'm in my head and I'm thinking about and I'm thinking about the shot, I miss it every time. I'm thinking about the shot. Oh, am I gonna miss this? Oh, am I gonna miss this? I throw it up, my elbow shifts in a weird way, I break it. But when I'm in the mood, when I'm in the groove, when I'm in the flow state, when I'm in the present moment, it's like a dance. It's like a smooth, it's a dance. I'm not worrying about the shot. I'm taking the shot. I know I can make the shot. I've made it a thousand times. So why am I worried about the shot? Why am I anxious about the shot? So it takes practice. So meditation, you have to practice facing your fears. You have to practice healing your insecurities. You have to practice. But if you apply everything that you've watched in this video, trust me, you're going to become a different person. And you're going to start manifesting the things that you actually want out of life. Peace.